when people see me now in this video, they're like, oh my God, she's doing this, doing that. You know, you don't know what I've been through. I've been through a lot. This is why I'm becoming a soft girl. Like, I've been through a lot. I've earned this. I don't want to do nothing but be a princess and go lay down. You understand? Hi, I'm Deanna. This is Jackie. Welcome to Glow in Peace. Okay, so in today's video, um, I've officially entered my soft girl era. I'm tired. Um, I'm not saying this because I quit my job or anything. I'm saying this because I had a... I... How do I say this? I'm tired. If you haven't seen a video I posted before this, go watch that video. I'll see if I can do the thing where you put the video right there. Go watch that video. I'll link it in the, the description box. It's called The Breaking Before the Breakthrough. But that broke me. Um, that wasn't just something I did to film just for... Um, like, uh, that's not something I did just to say, oh, look at me, I'm crying. That's something that I did because I was truly broken at that point. I need to be soft. And if you're watching this, you're supposed to be in your soft girl era too. What is stress? What is work? What is, th what, what is that? No more. S we off that, okay? Y'all see me? Do I look like I need to be stressed anymore? I look like I should just drink chamomile tea for a living. Just go to, go to little cute, little fancy little parties. I am a princess. You know, I went out to eat. So the day I had the mental breakdown, the day after that, I went to Jack's Steakhouse um, in New Haven. I can say I live in Connecticut. I live in Connecticut, by the way. And I went to Jack's in New Haven, and I went to the steakhouse, and I had this beautiful, I can show you the dress. And this is the dress that I wore. Um, I should try it on, but not right now. So I wore that dress and it was definitely giving, you know, cottage core. You know, I do nothing for a living but look pretty and drink tea kind of vibes. And I came in, I was the only person at the restaurant. What, what was I going to think? It's a Tuesday evening during the middle of a work school week. So I went there, nobody's there, I got to sit anywhere. Um, it's like I shouldn't even have made a reservation, but okay. And they were, the owner or the manager was like, oh, Princess Deanna's here. I'm like, he gets it. No, it was really nice. I got steak. I got, um, well first I got calamari and I got focaccia and then I got the prefix dinner. So I got a salad, I got a medium well steak, medium, um, I mean, well, medium or well done steak is what black parents love. They love that thing burnt. It's too rubbery for me. Like it's no, I'm, I'm doing, I, I just trying to eat the steak. No, no, thank you. So I got that with the demi glaze asparagus, and I got chocolate cake, and then I went to Insomnia and I got some cookies. Um, I also had these drinks called Dear Lila's. It's like that'll that'll mess you up like i drink too thinking it's just some just some cute little some cute little whatever and that thing will mess you up it's like japanese gin with champagne with like honey and stuff it's so good it has a flower in it you see that's the life that i need to get on that's the vibe all this other stress and stuff i'm off of that so you're probably like all right deanna like i don't how do you just become a soft girl? Like, how do you just not do anything? I'm gonna tell you. Um, you start to set your intentions. I was looking for my notebook, but I can't find it. Oh, it's over there. Um, you start setting your intentions. How do you do that? And how do you do that in a God-ordained way? Sidebar, when people say set your intentions, they think about what it is that they want, not thinking about the overall plan that God has for you. And God does not want you to be running around like a chicken with your head cut off, especially if you're his daughter. Like, working. Let's just take another step. Working? We weren't made to work. We were made to look pretty and do nothing. Okay, the hardest I want to work is having a period in childbirth. That was the measure of our stress. Everything else is truly ghetto, okay? The only type of work I want to do at this point in my life is content creation I love my job but I can't kill myself for this job technically I'm on a break I had to break up my work day because they're not doing overtime anymore so I had to break up my day 
eight, four hours and then doing it uh, or five hours and then do three hours later on because I don't get paid over time I just don't and um, we weren't made to work we were made to look pretty I, I was made to have a man wait on me hand and foot that's what I was made to do I was made to have a man I just blink and he's like that means she wants she wants a hug or I just like cough and he's like she needs a cookie that's what I was on like that's that's my life I can't speak for y'all I'm speaking for me and I have to do more of the things I love life is very short I've had health scares I literally thought I was gonna die multiple times in my life I literally try to clip my own life like I have to do things that make me happy this is my birth month as indicated by the balloon that balloon's still there what does that mean it's still my birthday and as long as that thing still got air it's still gonna stay right there so um I gotta do things that make me happy after I film this video I'm literally gonna go and make some Indian food Trader Joe's has amazing frozen food it's almost a little too good I wonder what they got cooking in that kitchen but it, I, it's like lamb vindaloo then I'm gonna toast some bu um, butter naan um, on the stove and then have some samosas with tamarind sauce and I'll have a glass of Prosecco soft girl at its peak like you can't tell me I'm not a soft girl I'm very much a soft girl I don't like doing much of anything and people are like oh you're lazy I'm like no have you just been conditioned by this patriarchy to do a lot yet to be mothers to men no I'm not doing that you be you be safe they want us to work yet be soft like first of all y'all I'm not gonna make sense in this video I'm either gonna make sense to you or I'm not but they want us to be submissive yet work I'm not understanding like y'all want me to work like a dog yet come home and cook and clean and tend to a family so y'all want me to work took my fingers to the bone like the marrow is showing yet provide oh no no I'm a soft girl love like when I work I work if I do it like let's say I, I do want to be a doctor um I still want to pursue a career in medicine but I'm very tired right now when people are like oh you can't wait too long to be a doctor I'm like I'm gonna wait as long as the Lord tells me to wait because if I go apply to med school now I'm not gonna make it I will drop out of medical medical school I need time I need a break I'm so tired and this is where this is stemming from I'm so tired I need a break I want it when I tell y'all I want to do nothing for a good minute I just want to do nothing and everything and when I say everything I mean YouTube I want to you know uh, do martial arts there's so many things that I f find a pull to I'm a writer I want to write I want to focus on other things something that I've been led to as of lately is acting I was like why can't I be an actress why can't I how do you just become like you go to school you take classes you improv like why can't I start doing that um and people are like oh you can only do one thing why why you can let's speak for you and I'll speak for me I'm a multi hyphenate I do a lot of different things and I'm good at a lot of different things and then when I work at something I become good at that thing for instance hair growth my natural hair growth, my hair's in braids right now, but my natural hair growth wasn't because genetics. It wasn't because, um, you know, genetics didn't play a factor really in it. Um, it, it wasn't because I, I just was naturally gifted with long hairs because I worked at it. When it came to like even college, people were like, you just know your stuff. No, I studied. I committed myself to understanding. I'm not naturally super smart and stuff. Like I commit myself to understanding, not knowing that I may not know it now, but give me a second and I'm going to figure this out because I will not be defeated. That is my mantra. This is why I'm talking to you now because if you saw me in the last video, I was ready to I was ready to give up. I was like, I can't make YouTube videos no more. I can't do nothing. Now look at me. And trust me, there will be plenty more mental breakdowns to come. And then there will be, well, let's retract that. Let's pray that doesn't happen. But in the event I do feel down, I'm not gonna stay down for long. I never do. And that's because God is with me. He strengthens me. He upholds me. So I may, it may, it, there will be another attack and I'm gonna feel sad, but then I'm gonna get up because I have to, I can't. Um, I don't like things getting in my way. 
I'm against things getting in my way as most people are. So um, things I'm gonna do to be more soft. Let's get back on that. So things I'm gonna do to be more soft. Um, I'm gonna start going back to massage of the month. I'm a member at Spavia. I'm going with my friend Deja. We got a little girls date, you know, whatever. I might vlog it if I feel like it, but we're going to Spavia on Saturday and we're gonna get one hour massages. Her mom is actually treating me and or treating both of us but she, for, because it's my birthday and I think it's so sweet. I'm gonna send her mom a thank you card. And I'm gonna send, yeah, her a thank you card too. But um, yeah, then we're going out for lunch, a little, a little classy lunch. And yeah, then I'm gonna come back, um, do my ministry homework because I'm not gonna do it today. Let's be, let's be for real, <laughs> be for real. I'm not gonna do it today nor tomorrow. Then on Sunday, I'm going to go get my nails done. I need a refill. I need a pedicure. And I'm gonna get a spa pedicure per okay i work a big girl job i deserve big girl things okay i'm getting big girl money okay i'm trying to budget myself that's the thing with being a soft girl is you gotta budget yourself should everything be paid for by a really really hot dark skinned six foot christian man who happens to be my husband yes but until that time I have to finance my things. Should my parents be paying for everything? Yes and no. Yes, because I'm their only daughter. They only got one kid. No, because I'm I'm a grown up. So whatever, I'll take it. They are paying for a massage. Um, whatever they're paying for a spa day for me when we go away in a couple of weeks. They're like, whatever you want, you can get. I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's so, so Oh yay! Don't be mad when you see the bill. You said anything. They didn't send it. They didn't set a price, but they didn't set a cap. So you said you can. I said I'm gonna get a massage and a facial. And they're like, okay. They don't know what kind of massage. I could get the two-hour massage and the three-hour facial. What? They don't know what I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna do that. Am I gonna charge? That's why I love vacation because I charge everything to the room. That's the one thing. It's no questions asked on vacation. I charge everything to the room. Literally no questions asked. Go to restaurants, charge it to the room. Oh, third margarita for the day, charge it to the room. So I'm excited about that. So um, what else am I excited to do? Um, Jackie's birthday's coming up October 17th. So I'm taking her to New York. I might, I might stay overnight because I have enough points to. Um, yeah, so we're gonna stay overnight for her birthday. Go to the museum, we're gonna go get some soup. Um, go get her birthday cake, birthday cookie cake from Insomnia. Jackie's favorite foods are cookies and cookies, kale, ice cream, chicken nuggets, and she likes, she's starting like asparagus, but yeah, she she's a kale and spinach girl. She gotta eat her plants. Technically, she's not supposed to eat meat because she's an herbivore. But I think her body just adapted to it because I'm at nine years old. I didn't know what kangaroos was supposed to eat. I probably should have read about it, but I'm like, she's going to eat what I give her. So, um, yeah, I have to be soft. You have to do things that make you happy. And even it doesn't have to be going away, but as simple as get this, get this, clean your room. It makes a difference. Like I have the greenery here. Let me show you what I have green in that corner y'all see it it made such a difference in my room like it just brightened up the room I should do a room tour it's not I don't have a big room but it's my little space I got my aromatherapy diffuser I got my things I do have to straighten up normally I like to clean my room on a Friday so on Saturday I don't have to do anything so after I finish work I clean my room, I dust, I put my clothes away, I wash my sheets. So on Saturday, I can just do something fun or sleep in. So that's, you know, what I'm planning to do. So tomorrow I'm gonna clean my room, put my clothes away, vacuum. The plan is to put my aromatherapy diffuser on. Then um, I love this sleep spray. You wanna be knocked in two seconds? Get you this sleep spray and trust me, you gonna go to sleep. It's not chloroform where someone does this and you, you're not. But you put this on like a half hour before you go to bed. I put it on my sheets. I put it on my pillow. I put it on Jackie. You could put it on your skin. 
um, and then I, um, what's it called when you, not la what's it called when you layer it? I layer it with the lotion, and I give myself a little massage with my neck and everything like that, and bada bing, bada boom, you're gonna be knocked out in no time. Um, so that's also what I'm doing. Um, what else, what else? Um, so I take a nice shower. Ooh, I love doing this. Um, unless I work out and I get sore and I take a bath, which is also nice, but stick with the shower. I go with the Dove. Oh, I should do a pamper routine. When I go on vacation, I'll do a luxury pamper routine. That's what I'll do. Um, yeah, I do my body, I do my body care routine. I do my face. Sometimes I do a face mask. Um, I derma plan my eyebrows to get the girl snatched. Um, um, what else? Put on my favorite body cream, put a big t-shirt on, get in the bed, and then this is a time for you to, you can cook food or you can order food. You don't gotta order filet mignon and some lobster and shrimp. You can just get your favorite food. If it's a cup of noodles, get you a cup of noodles. If it's, um, order a wing stop, I find that wing stop lemon pepper with some seasoned French, some Cajun seasoned French fry, a big honey mustard, and a nice ice water, okay? Tomorrow, because I'm eating my Friday dinner tomorrow, today, I think for dinner tomorrow, I'm gonna get, I'm either gonna order Wingstop or go to Trader Joe's and see what else they have, because like Trader Joe's literally has full frozen meals for like pennies. Okay, for $4 you can get some lamb vindaloo uh, a, a, a thing and a four pieces of non bread for like four three and change so samosas for three dollars so under fifteen twenty dollars you can get you a meal then I get my favorite Prosecco I'm a Prosecco girl and I don't want to hear it I, I haven't heard it yet but I don't want to if you hear it, if I hear from you you know what say whatever you want I'm trying not to care that's part of being soft but it's like I like to drink a little wine every now and then. Am I a dr No, it's not about getting drunk. Like, I'm not knocking back tequila shots like 12 and like passing out. But sometimes I like to drink. It pairs well with food. I don't really have to justify myself to anyone. But I'm just saying. It's just so fun. It's part of the one perks of being grown, that being over 21. Do I still get carded? Yes, I'm going to get carded for the rest of my life. And that's a good thing I'm realizing now. But I go to the liquor store, like, can we see your ID? I'm like, you don't believe in 23. They're like, I didn't think you were 21. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to get in the bed. So I'm probably, let me know if you guys think I should get another Trader Joe meal. Make food. Oh, I don't feel like making food. I just worked and then cleaned my room. Ugh. Um, it's going to be a Trader Joe meal. Uh, um... Trader Joe, Wingstop, or I might get Chinese food. Oh, I haven't had Chinese food in so long. So it's going to be something like that. Um, or some frozen food. Or I might make a pizza. Or I might order not too much bread. I'll figure it out. So it's going to be that. Get in my bed all comfy cozy in my big shirt. Put my hair up. Might have it like this because it's cute. And then I'll put Bridgerton on and rewatch it for the millionth time. And... That's it. That's how I'll do it. That's being a soft girl. Being a soft girl is sometimes just refusing to do anything. I refuse to do anything for right now. I don't care how much my phone want to go blingy bling bling bling. Um, uh, blingy bling bling bling. I just gotta work. Give me one second, guys. I forgot where we were. I was sending a work text. So I should have took my. I, I I. It was for a good reason, and it's my girl, Sydney. Sydney, if you're watching this, hi. Um, but, um, yeah, so you don't have to do too much to be a soft girl. You can just simply refuse to do anything. And this is for, um, black women especially. We put, there's so much put on us to be everything and to be everything to everyone. And, um, we bear the brunt of society, of their hatred, of their just dismissal for us and even and that's one thing to deal with it from society but then to deal with it in our own community it hurts more because you expect it from others you don't expect it from your own to be among your own seen as the least desirable is 
detrimental but just know black woman you're amazing you're loving you're amazing I keep saying you're amazing because you are and you're soft be soft don't do anything take a break don't respond to the email don't be like me don't respond to emails they will you'll get to them when you get to them you'll get back they'll they'll live okay your family members they don't need all oh, I need a hold let me hold fifty dollars no no what happened to the last 50 I gave you? Oh, you know, no, I don't. I don't. I guess this can be applied to other women, but I see, I see the pain us, especially dark skinned black women go through. We are like almost invisible. Like we don't matter. We're not seen. And have you seen us? Let's everybody, let's take a moment of silence. Because have you seen us? Look how pretty we are. Like, you know the other day, let me just, I'm just ranting in this video at this point. <laughs> you know the other day, I was thought I was ugly? You guys, all I had to do was wash my face. And, 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 and put it, and, 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 just do a little toner, do a little skincare routine. And I was like, oh. The thing about me is also I'm like, I'm ugly, I'm so fat, like, oh my god. The thing about me is I used to be so skinny. You don't understand, you don't know me before YouTube. But I used to be like a rail and I thought that was normal because I had always been like that. But that's almost like a, I want to say a child's body, but that was my childhood body. Now, please hold. Okay. As you can see, I'm thicker. My thighs are a little thicker. My, you feel me? Like, I'm a little, amen. I'm a little, you see. So, oh, I nearly, oh, sorry, Jackie. So, I'm not a child anymore, and I gotta stop putting that expectation. I do wanna get a little snatched, -er, but that has nothing to do with being ugly. I'm still fine. Like, and I have to snap out of that. Like, what is wrong with me? And if you're watching this, you're like, oh, I'm not, shut up. Because I know if you're watching this, you are fine. I, you can't not, you, you have to be. If you're watching this, that means you're sexy. Let, be real. <laughs> be for real. Be freaking for real. You know you fine too. I was just confirming what you knew. So, um, what am I going to do now? Oh, I'm also going to crochet. Did I ever tell you guys I crochet? You might have seen me crocheting in videos. But also let me know if you want to. I'm not going to let you. I'm going to make a crochet tutorial um, on how to crochet. Because literally if I can do it, anybody can do it. When I first started, I got all these confusing behind YouTube tutorials. Like, you got to. And then you. And, and when you do it, I'm like, well, excuse me. Like, how'd you get the string on there in the first place? Like. The, it, 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 and you it, and then you, I'm like stop it please like it's it can't be that complicated and it's really not I have made I can't oh I can show you what I made I don't know if you can tell what this is but this is actually a cross this is one thing I made a couple things but this is a cross halter top so you put your hold on Lord Jesus uh oh oh it's back so you put it <laughs> You put it, bear with me guys, I'm not going to fix it. And then you boob boob, so it's like, essentially like, boob, boob, and then there's a tie in the front so the boobs aren't boobing. And I have a matching skirt that I'm making, so I'm working on the skirt. You see the stitching? This is a very simple, um... Stitch. This is a half double crochet, which is very easy to do. This is very easy to do, and I say it's easy with, with time. It's a very, si I shouldn't say easy, I should say it's simple. And with time, you become better at it. I've been crocheting clothes only for a year. I have been crocheting blankets since 2017. When I started crocheting, I did not know what I was doing. Like anything I've ever done that now I'm starting to become good at. Like, when I started crocheting, I, I was just trying to, I, I was just trying to do something. Like, I'm just, okay, like, I'm over here like, pretend it's a crochet hook. I'm like, I should show y'all my crochet journey. Cause like, I'm telling you, I, I didn't know what I was doing. Like, I'm just. Uh huh. Bl and I made a blanket. We'll call it that. Then the second time I made an actual comforter blanket, and then I just 
for hours. I threw on the Vampire Diaries and just... And I started this when I got cancer, so I needed something to do to keep me busy. So I just... And that's why fall is coming up. Fall is my favorite season. I love fall so much, especially when you live in Connecticut. The brisk air, the, the foliage, the apple cider, the apple cider donuts, the apple picking, the soup, the pot roast, the brisk walks, the trips to New York City, the vibes. Y'all not seeing autumn. That's the, that's the it girl season. Like, summer is not that girl. We got flies coming inside the house. We got bugs everywhere. It's hot. Your makeup, if you wear, if you are, you know, a beat your face baddie, your makeup's running. It's not cute. Like, it's cute just for, like, the little, the little aesthetics of summer. But summer is not a cute season. Spring is a great season. Winter in Connecticut is freaking brutal. It's just cold. And if you if you live inland in Connecticut, in Connecticut, I live in the coast. So, but uh, if you live like in Connecticut, it's brutal. When I was at UConn, brutal. It was not fun <coughs> at all. I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. So, yeah, I'm gonna be making so much more content. Thank you guys for loving me. I love you, and Jackie loves you so much. Um, I have so much to give, and I really was close to like giving up because when I tell you. I was like this close to being like all the YouTube is going away. It's, it's done. I'm not doing this no more. And I just felt the Lord saying share that with them. Be vulnerable because when people see me now in this video, they're like, oh my God, she's doing this, doing that. You know, you don't know what I've been through. I've been through a lot. This is why I'm becoming a soft girl. Like yeah, I've been through a lot. I've earned this. I don't want to do nothing but be a princess and go lay down. You understand? So I'm going to go. I love you guys so much. I'm also looking at myself in the camera thinking, how did I ever think I was ugly? Um, okay. Okay, Jackie, say bye. Say bye. She doesn't want to talk yet. Give her time, guys. She'll start talking to you, okay? So, Jackie loves you. I love you. And we'll see you in the next video.